your pudgy picker here with another Savers Half Price Monday sale. Savers in my area, which I have three within like a 45 minute radius, are 50% off on Mondays, and then Tuesdays are 30% off for 55 and up, which is me. <laughs> I'm finally old enough to get something good, you know? Anywho, got a lot of stuff. I got clothes, I have a couple of bags, I have some figurines, I have some craft kits. So I have a little bit of everything. So I always stack all the clothes in my lap. So we're going to show you those first, and then um, I'm going to show you the heart goods. So let's jump right in. I have a few things to talk about afterwards. And, you know, so if you're here for the chitty chat, we'll do it afterwards. So I've been making an effort to check out the dress uh, dresses when I go there. For a while, I just never saw anything, and then I just kind of stopped looking. But I started looking again, and it was a good idea. So I found an Apartment 9 Woman 2X. This dress is $549, so it was $250, $260, $275. So it is a knit, like a high-waisted and it's got this, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a brownish black with the uh, pink. Uh, short sleeve, round neck, has a tie in the back. And then it's got a little bit of this gathering here. In case you have girls, you know, I don't have big girls. So, I, you know, I don't really fill these out very well. <laughs> That's another story. So there's that. I noticed as I was finding things, I got several things with a new price tag on them. So I will tell you what I do with those because I wash everything that I get to resell, but if it has a tag, I do something different. So I know you're dying to hear that. Um, this shirt is an Avenue. It was $5.29. I'm not gonna keep doing the math because nobody's got time. What is it, $2.50, $2.65. This one was really pretty. It's uh, a black, like a uh, crinkle cotton on the bottom. And then uh, it's got this lace on the top with this like embroidered flowers. And then the back is just the plain lace. Isn't that pretty? Uh, sleeves are three quarters. And this would be nice, again, I could say, you know, with jeans or with a skirt or a blazer or whatever. But I thought that was a good deal. It was $5.29. What size did I say? I think it's an $18.20. Yes, it's an $18.20. Um... This one, I tell you, it drives me crazy when people cut tags out. I get it. I get it. There's a few uh, there's a few tops that I have that they use that plastic thread to stitch it in, so you're constantly like this all day. So I get it. But it makes it a little more difficult. So what I usually do is just list it as unbranded, and then I list the measurements, and then I guess the best you know, size that I think it is. This one is either a 3X or a 4X, I'm guessing. Now this one is like another top that I have, let me tell you. It's called Unity or something, yeah. So let me show you that one. So here's a Unity top, and it's usually this kind of slick fabric, which they stamp, so you know, when they stamp it, you get all these little spots that don't have anything on them, but it's short sleeve. Uh, like a, almost like a tunic length, this beautiful purple. It is very pretty. Uh, it's a 2X. Uh, it's got a couple buttons in the front, so there's that. And then uh, let me show you the unbranded one. Now this one I think is a Unity, because here's what it looks like. So it's basically the same premise. It's in a real pretty orange color, short sleeve, and then it's got like a higher, like a waist thing. You hear the dogs barking outside of my window. In the back, it has like this, this little stretch across here, this elastic, to kind of give it a little bit of a tuck, you know, gives you a little bit of a waist. But I thought that was really pretty. So I'm thinking that's what it is. It's very reminiscent of what they do. This was four, no, seven forty-nine, so three fifty. $360.75, not bad, under $4, under $5 is always good. This one is an Avenue, a 22, 24, 529. This also is a crinkle cotton. And then it kind of has this, this lace in the front that kind of opens up a little bit. Three quarter sleeves. It's got the lace down the side and a little bit of stretch, uh, a little bit of a notch neck. 
I thought that was cute. That one was, I said, five twenty nine. Uh, this one is uh, 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 Candace Cameron Burr, B U R E. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Five twenty nine. So this is a T-shirt, but it's got this ombre kind of thing. Ombre is when you go from like the different color uh, radiant. So you got this this uh, lavender and then it goes down to white long sleeve I list my stuff all year round it doesn't matter if it's short sleeve long sleeve no sleeve I list it all year round but I thought that was really pretty and it's got this interesting little twist on the neckline can you see that I thought that was cute so there's that one that one looks brand new to me um, this one is a D and Co, and Co Essentials, a 3X. That last one was a 3X, by the way. Another 529. This one is like a kind of a minty teal color. If I can hold it, there. And it's almost got like this, it flares out, so it's kind of a trapeze, I guess they would call that. V-neck, three-quarter sleeves, stretchy, but it's very breathable cotton, which is nice. You know, you don't got to have much spandex in there to get the uh, little bit of stretch on something without it being like you're wearing a plastic bag and you're sweating in the summer. This one I'm tempted to keep, but I, I'll have to try it on first. It, well, it's a 3X. It's, uh, it was only $2.99. It feels a little bit pilly, so I'm hoping it fits me because I don't really like to sell things that, you know, feel like they have the pee. You know, the, the pills. You know, when you rub up against something a while, like a blanket, it gets those little, little you know, that's pilling. So it's this very long uh, camo top, uh, long sleeve. I think it's a V-neck, yeah. This is a Marie. Maurice. I wish we had a Maurice's. I always say this every time I get a Maurice. I know Anne talks about getting things and selling Maurice clothes, but I, I, we don't have one. I think there's one in Columbus. You know, I always say this to people like, no, no, there's one just two towns over. I should probably Google it. But $2.99, so I paid $1.50. You can't hardly beat that. So there that one is. Um, this one is from Lane Bryant. Now, it's funny. Some Lane Bryants, they put $15 on them. And then a once in a while, something slips through. And, and it, I don't know if somebody went on lunch break and somebody started putting cheap prices on it. But $6.99, so I paid $3.50 for this. It is a t-shirt, perfect sleeve tee, size 1820. It's this real cute striped one. Great for summer, short sleeve, round neck. A little bit longer like us girls like. And this one has a tag on it. So the, the bottom part that had the price on it is gone, of course. But there you go. So this one I'm going to put in a separate pile because that one has a tag on it. This one also, it doesn't have a tag. But you know how you get the t-shirts and they got like a sticker on them? Uh, so that one tells me this one was never worn. This is a St. John Bay, which I believe is like Kohl's or one of those places. $3.99. It is a t-shirt. Short sleeve, round neck. Again, longer. And then it has the little sticker on there that shows you what size it is. It says $17 originally. So I will set that one aside. Now, I don't usually pick up LuLaRoe, but LuLaRoe... It does pretty good if it's, uh, I know some of the Disney patterns do really well. And if it's a Disney pattern and it has the tags, I decided to pick it up. This one is a extra large LuLaRoe, $7.99 I paid for. And that's cute. I love the style of the top, but I don't know. I've just, I'm not, I paid my money to the mouse when my kids are small. You know, maybe I'll go back when I'm 90 and my kids want to take me. And I have no idea where I am, but I'll be glad to be with them. <laughs> but, yeah, in the meantime, not so much. So, round neck um, and short sleeve. And it, it is this high-low. It's a little bit higher in the front, but I thought that was really cute. And here is the tags. So, we got the tags. Nice. So, $8. $4 for me. Um, this one is also a LuLaRoe Disney 2X, $8.99, so I paid $4.50, and 
And it's this raglan sleeve, you know, the one that's got the angle, like the baseball tops, I guess you'd say. And I believe that one is, might be a long sleeve. And it's got Mickey and Minnie on it. And again, here's the tags. So that was good. I think I got one more. To this. Somebody dumped their inventory and said done, which I understand. Uh, this one is a 2XL, again, $4. Um, this one does not have the tags, but I will sell it as new without tags. Because when you get a black t-shirt and it is this clean and not faded at all, you know it's it's definitely uh, newer. So there's him, the gray and the black. So I thought that was a good deal as well. That one, I'll probably treat like the other ones. Now this is one I've got for myself. It was $7.49, so $3.50, $3.60, $3.75. And this one is a, I don't know if I know this brand either. Cable and Gauge Woman, 2X. And it's basically this gray top, short sleeves. It's got the little fold and it's like a longer tunic and then it has the cute little pockets in the front. So I just love stuff like this. So yeah, so I'm probably gonna try that one on as well. So that's all of the clothes. Um, let me pause and then I'll come back with my other stuff. No, I'm still rolling. Now, come on, hit the pause. You guys are so patient with me. Okay, I decided to try them on. So this is the gray one with the pockets. I have my leggings on, which is my uniform. But this one's really nice and it's really light. So this will be great for summer. I don't, I'm not crazy about the rolled sleeves just because washing. And I know it's itchy because I still have the tag on. But it looks really cute. So let's try on the other one. Okay, so this one is a little bit big, of course, because it's a 3X. But it's it's pretty long. And this, I have a problem with long sleeves being long, but these these are pretty good, actually. So, nice. You know, it's 58 degrees now, but it's going to snow in the next day and a half. The only thing is, it just feels a little bit woo, up at the top there. But there's what it looks like. Not too bad. It's got the slit a little longer. Yeah, I'll definitely keep this one. You know, some blouses, the way they hang, you don't really have to have the exact size. Okay, I'm back. Took my sweater off. I just found the bottom of that tag. It says $29.95. So that was, I don't know, I'm not going to stick it back on or anything. Okay, so the two I'm going to keep, the other ones I will sell. Now, to talk about the ones who that have tags on them. You know, I always give them the sniff test, and if it smells fine, and I just want to freshen it up with tags, I will throw it in the dryer for just a few minutes to warm it up and get the wrinkles out, take it out, give it another sniff test, because sometimes when stuff gets warm, it kind of, but these, these, they don't, I know I already sniffed them, they smell fine, I know. This is weird, you're sniffing clothes. But hey, it's part of the job. And then the one that has the sticker on the front, I'm gonna throw that in the dryer as well, but I'm gonna take that sticker off because if I don't, it will bake onto the fabric. And you know how I know that? Because I've done it before. So yeah, that's what I'll do with those. Um, I'll get this going. I have about this many clothes in my uh, office closet. So I will be photographing clothes next. So I don't know, maybe I'll take some clips of that if you're interested. Show you what my setup in my room is. It's, it gets a little cramped in here, but with my brick wall, I love it. Um, sometimes what I'll do is if during the day it's like, oh, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I will set up everything. So all I have to do is come in here, turn the lights on and start photographing. And that's really good because then I don't have to, oh, I got to set everything up. And then I get up and I'm like, well, I have to do it because I'm not going to just put it away. See, this is how my brain works. It's a scary place. So let's jump into what I got. I got two bags today. They are both La Sport. Now, if you remember the La Sport from when, you know, us 55 year olds are around there. We're growing up in high school in the 80s. It's a different animal than it used to be, but people still like them. They really do. And they are of this, you know, the scratchy nylon, and then they have the, uh, like the seat belt kind of straps. Uh, they really do last a long time. So first one is this very big bag. 
there's what it looks like. It's got hearts in different shapes. And then when I went to look at it, we have the adjustable strap here, which you can take off because then it has just the handles. I checked all the zippers, made sure everything worked. And then attached with a little zip tie was the, this little uh, purse that goes with it. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, I have to, you know, check all the zippers, look inside, make sure nothing's sticky, yucky, whatever. Black interior really helps. But, uh, yeah, these, this one is, is really cute. This will be a nice little travel bag for somebody. And then it's got the two zippers on the end. Now, this one's going to be a challenge to photograph. I have a bin that has plastic bags, like grocery bags, that I usually stuff in my purses. You know, when you used to shop back in the day, they always put stuff in them so they looked full and nice. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I have not done any research on this yet, but I am hoping I can get 40 to 50 for this. Just off the top of my head. Um, the other one, I was like, Another little sport bag. This one is in really good condition as well. Adjustable strap. So this is basically, you could make it a shoulder strap or a crossbody. Here's what it looks like. So you got the zipper on this side, a zipper here, and a pouch. And then there's the inside. Very clean. So yeah, very pretty. Black, white, and blue. This one was $349. Now, of course, I threw the other one without telling you. This one was $7.99. I paid $4 for this one and $1.50, under $2 for this. Under $2 for this. And there's the bottom. So, yeah, so these should do really well. And this one, uh, also, you can tell it has it written in the graphic or in the uh, pattern. So, those two are going to do really well. Put a couple craft kits up here. Um, a couple of the craft kits I had never seen. I looked them up. I tried to use, I think, I don't know if it has a barcode or not. I tried to use that and then I ended up just doing a screenshot of it. It still wasn't, you know, understanding what it was, so I typed it in and it finally got it. They didn't have, I don't think, the two that I got. But this is interesting and it reminds me, if you if you if you know, you know. Uh, everybody had the beaded thing in their car, you know, for you to sit on. It's supposed to massage you as you're driving. Yeah. So that's kind of what this reminds me of. This is Beaded Banner Kit. by This one's School Time by The Beadery. So this is vintage. And it's beads. Look at that. It's all beads. So, yeah. Isn't that cool? So it has the beads, the thread... Um, the thread to put it up and then I think it even has like the stick that you attach it to this was $4.99 so for both of these kits I got them for actually this was $2.50 the other one was $3.99 so I got that one for two and this one is a Christmas themed one Christmas gifts so there's what that one looks like and again then it says after that all you need is glue a tape measure a uh, pair of scissors and some tape, but everything else is in there, including the little caps for the end of the stick that it hangs on. So isn't that interesting? Have you ever seen anything like that before? I was like, I think I've seen them completed, so I didn't know yeah, they were a kit. I don't know. Uh, you know, no matter how long I do this, there's always something that I still am like, wow, I never saw that. Hey, I never saw that either. <laughs> so. I just told somebody the other day, I'm like, you know, in this business, the more you know, the more you know you don't know. And that's true. And if you keep learning and you don't keep asking everybody, what should I price it? What is selling? If you just dig in and, and do the research and then just go to the thrift store and pick up something and say, I wonder what this goes for. You know, that's how you learn. And I think if you learn by researching rather than, hey, how much is this? Oh, it should be 30 bucks. You're like, thanks. Thanks. You're not going to remember that for the next time you find it. I know. That's an old people way of thinking, but here I am. Okay, craft kits. Other than those two, this is a Dimensions. Butterflies are beautiful. So this is a counted cross stitch, which again means you have to count. There are no, uh, no markings on there. They also have stamped, and then there's other kinds like cruel and, and uh, embroidery, all that stuff. 
So I thought that was pretty. Sealed, never opened. $4.99, so $2.50. I am going to be running a sale in my store probably in April, March or April. So if you guys have ever, you know, down in the description box, I fixed it so you can copy the link. There's even instructions on how to do it uh, to go to my store and uh, follow my store. Keep an eye because if there's anything you like or you've been interested in, I'm going to be running a sale just because I want to clear some stuff out. Okay. This one is a very, very long poem called The Secret. Uh, you could tell it's kind of vintage just because of the, the style, you know, the old 70s. I don't think this is from the 70s, but the old, you know, sunset sailboat, you know, with this big long poem. It was $2.50, counted, cross-stitch again. Uh, so, yeah, thought that was pretty cool. I don't know. I... You know, normally I don't think I would pick these up, but I picked them up a while ago because I was somewhere and they were having a sale and they were like a dollar a piece. And I thought, ah, what the heck? And they're selling. I just recently sold one. This is, they call it Needlepoint Idea Kit. Columbia Minerva. Never heard of it. But this is the, the plastic canvas. And then it has this, the instructions. And it makes, it makes a house with a ginormous dry goods sign. And then I don't know, the other one I guess is just a little house. So yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Dry goods store and blue house. So it's got the needle and the yarn and the instructions. And I beat myself up with it. And hey, it was only $2.99. Sealed, never opened. Buck fifty, how can I say no? I had to get it. Uh, something else I got for myself because this is the so also oh glamour side of buying things for myself when I go thrifting. This bag of deodorants. There's three of the Dove ones, and I was 100, almost 100 percent sure they were new. They are new, never opened. So I'm going to be smelling like cucumbers because why not? There's worse things you could smell like than cucumbers. And then this one is a, it says it's a dry spray. So I don't know if this is just is this a deodorant too? Or is this just the anywhere you just want to have to look that up? So $4.99. So I paid $2.50. I mean deodorants, golly, like five, six dollars now. Whew. I know I'm getting so cheap. I even did the uh, the uh, what do you call it? The the rock one where you wet it down and then you use it. I did good for a while, but then I started breaking out. This is nothing you care about my armpits, but I did try it. Um, this bag was a dollar ninety nine. I saw a couple things in it that would be cute to use, so I paid a dollar basically. Now these, it looks like these were maybe I don't know where they were from. But these are pretty cool. And this reminds me of the good old days. Does anybody remember Shrinky Dinks? <laughs> Stink up your house with melting plastic. Well, these, I think, are the new version of that. So, basically, they have... What does it say? Dollar, Jeff Gore? I don't know. But they were a dollar originally. And I guess you cut them out, color them in, and then put them in the oven. And then they give you a little bit of thread to hang them up like a uh, ornament. So there's two of those. This is in the bag. There's this one with a little paint thing. I'm probably going to put these in my Christmas um, mystery bags. Oh, this is, has glitter. We have a pumpkin notebook with glitter. I'm not even going to open that. <laughs> I hate glitter. Every time I go to the bins, I end up, once I dump it out and everything, I, I just see the light go across my desk and I got little sparkles, so... Um, we have Star Wars stickers, and we have, ooh, four tattoo sheets of military. So these, again, will go into my grab bags. So I thought all that was a good deal for a buck, you think? Throw that down there. I have seen these in every breed of dog and every creepy rendition ever made to man, and I thought the little collies were cute. It has this little cup that you put down in the center. Isn't that adorable? Remember Lassie? I barely remember Lassie on TV. This is a, I don't know, something friend play. 
So, you know, this was probably still in a, sold in a gift shop back in the day. But I will take that out. I looked at the figurines of cats and dogs. I've been selling a lot of them, so my shelf is getting a little bit sad looking. This one was from originally from Dollar General. It has a $5 sticker, but again, it's a scrubby holder, so they still make them for us dinosaurs that like these. $3.49, so I paid $1.50, $60, $75. So I'll probably, you know, clean it up and everything and put like six bucks on it and put a scrubby in there. Uh, what else, what else, what else? This, I looked at it, thought it was cute, and then I'm like, eh, it's kind of weird, kind of creepy. You know, there's a fine line between cre and cre cute and creepy. So it's this guy someone made in a ceramic glass. <laughs> I don't know what he's afraid of, but he's adorable. Look at his little peeking out. And he has a sticker on his booter that says $3.99. So somebody made and painted him in some kind of class. And in fact, somebody, there was it was on there and they scratched it off. Is that like 84, 74? I don't know. But I just thought he was too adorable. Somebody's going to love him. And guess what? Leap Day is coming up. Yep. Yeah. Leap Day. We'll see all the babies born on Leap Day. They age much slower than the rest of us. Okay, I only got a few more things left, and then I will let you go because I know you have a life to live. This, as soon as I saw this, I immediately knew what it was. Um, it is this piece of wood with this bird on it. Now, you put it like this. You put a wine bottle in there. If it's empty or it's full, it will balance like this. So I only paid a dollar for this. And this will go out to my booth. I do have, in the front now, I have the wine display. Um, uh, we have a restocking day coming up in a week from today. A week from today. So I'm going to be moving that to a different area and putting in my spring stuff. So I may or may not have room for this immediately. But uh, I've sold other ones. I have sold ones that look like a coiled up chain, but it's glued that way. Those always do really well. I knew somebody at my old mall that used to do the ones that were the ceramic animal that looked like it was drinking a bottle of booze. I think it was like a whole booth of it. Crazy. This, I looked it up, and it's actually going for a lot of money online. It is a beer tasting toolkit. So there's what it looks like. And it says, what's inside? 48-page booklet, four tasting notepads, one quick reference card, 12 paper covers and twine for concealing bottles for blind tasting. Isn't that cool? Uh -huh. So, ooh, excuse me. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. $2.99. I know, I'm such a child. So $2 I paid for that. So here's what the little bags look like. They have this little bottle on them. So there's one, two, three, four, five of those. They're string to tie them up. Here's the notepad, so I guess you get to grade what you're, uh, what you're trying. You know what I was thinking, too? Now that I'm doing it in the video, my son's going to see this. I was thinking, I wonder if he would like something like this. I don't know, is there a, a booklet? I don't see the booklet, though. Anywho, so yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool. You know different stuff. People are looking for different kinds of gifts and things to give people. So, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. It's like it barely all fits in there, but nice brown box. I mean, the packaging on stuff is nice. So, not too bad on this. So, it says by Jeff Allworth. And I know they also do, uh, I also, when I looked it up, saw that they have wine ones. So that's pretty decent. That will go online. Um, this is adorable. It is a fence and it is decorated with the little wreaths. So this will go out in the winter. Isn't that adorable? Wouldn't this be great depending on what you have displayed? But look at the little the little wreaths on there. Even without the wreaths, it's adorable. The This is plastic and then this bottom part is wood. And it was only $3.49, so I paid $1.50, $60, $75. So that, that was cute. I'll try not to break that before I go sell it. And then the last thing I got is for my Asian shelf. I'm looking around just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Um, figurines do really well. I have bought ones like this before. 
And this one, of course, comes with a story. It has an older thing on here as I peel the $2 sticker somebody put on for their garage sale. So anyway, I'll mess with that later. But it's this, this gentle old man uh, fishing. And he has dinner catch. I, I always run my hand over everything to make sure you don't feel any any chips or anything. He's in very good condition. There is a thing on the bottom. Uh, Fine Arts. C-P. S-E-I-Z-A-N. Sizen? I don't know. But there's the... There's what the thing looks like. So I will look him up online in the off chance he's worth more. I'll sell him there. But otherwise, he will go on my Asian shelf by right next to all my incense and all my other cute little things that I have there. But uh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? So... Uh, 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 I did find a much larger one probably a couple of years ago and he had a fishing pole so I had to add a string and a little teeny hook for it and I didn't sell it I gave it to our favorite Chinese food place that is down the you know down around the corner for me and uh, my daughter actually worked on and off there through school so we know the family quite well they're they're really sweet we've seen their kids grow up all the years that we've been going there and <clears throat> I took it in and gave it to them as a gift for you know they always ask about her even now that she's you know moved out she hasn't worked there in years um, it's just it's they're really sweet people and I gave that to them this I'm gonna sell but uh, you know when you see something like that you know it's gonna mean something to somebody they were they were you could tell that nobody's ever really given them anything like that because they were just kind of like they didn't know what to say it was so sweet but that one's going to go out to the store. Wanted to mention my hair. I got my hair cut. I cut it myself. <laughs> if you want to know how, I'll talk about it in a video because I know you're all going to make fun of me. And also, let's talk about the nails. Um, when I did a Goodwill outlet haul, I got a uh, Color Street, brand new in the package, red. I don't wear a lot of like red, orange, you know, wild colors. Um, I usually don't do very dark on my fingernails, but uh, I was sent this by Kelly. Hi, Kelly. She's a subscriber, and she's like, I saw that. I'll send you one. You love purple. I know you love purple, and I'm like, oh, you know I love purple. So she sent it to me. I put this on Saturday night, and I, I shouldn't have done that because I cleaned my house on Sunday. I literally cleaned my house for four and a half hours. I was hurting so bad. I don't even want to talk about it. But I put that on Saturday night. And they look like I just did them. Now, I've used the Lily and Fox. They are basically a nail sticker kind of thing. These are actually real nail polish. Who knew? Um, so you take them off with nail polish. The other ones are thicker, but they had like a real weird kind of squeak feel to them. And they felt thick. These are thinner. I actually ended up tearing one trying to put it on. So you kind of have to, you know adjust but there's extras in there so if you mess it up it's okay so I sent Kelly a card and I asked her if I could uh, if I could uh, you know leave her link so if anybody else is interested in trying them so when this video is out if you look in the description box and you see it you can order from Kelly if you don't then Kelly wants to remain anonymous and that's okay it's her choice but so far and I'll keep talking about these as I use them but so far, man, I tell you, and in this job, I am rough on my edge. You see me, I'm, I'm, I'm scratching off with my fingernails, which I shouldn't be doing. <clears throat> Price stickers, I'm, I'm always banging and bumping and lifting and dragging them here. It's, so I'm very rough on my nails, and they're just so pretty. It's funny, every time I'm just sitting here looking at them, my husband's like, stop looking at your nails. But they're so pretty. So yeah, I'm very happy with them. They turned out really nice. And uh, so if you saw them, so I might be ordering some. So even if Kelly doesn't want her name or, you know, stuff out there, I get it. It's the internet. I have a friendly community here, but I know, you know, if she says, I'd rather you not, then I won't. But if she does, it'll be down in the description box. You know, she has a site I guess you can go to. So you, you don't, you know, you can go to there and she'll send them to you. 
but she sent me that and a nice card and it was so sweet and I really am glad that you guys are so nice to me I'm glad you like me so yeah so I will give you an update on these because I'm an honest reviewer I get a lot of offers this wasn't like a you know paid advertisement or anything she's just like hey I'll send you one <clears throat> so there's a lot of those I get probably 10 to 12 a week for my channel and I just usually don't do them. Man, the sun just disappeared. I got dark. Um, but I usually don't do them because it's like, mm, I don't really, I'm not crazy about that. I wouldn't use it. I don't like it. It's, you know. So if you ever see me advertise or, hey, this is great, it's because I've used it myself. Um, I guess that is it. You guys are the real heavy lifters of this video, 35 minutes. I'm so glad you tuned in. Please give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you feel so inclined. Hey, it's a free country. You can do what you want. Look, the sun just came out again. <laughs> it is literally like 57 degrees today. So I'm taking the girls for a walk. And then <clears throat> in the next 48 hours, it's going to be snowing. Welcome to Ohio. So anyhow, uh, also I've been asking and making a push recently, asking people if you can please, if you enjoy my content, please uh, share this video. There's a little share button and you can share it to your social media. You can share it to um, uh, Facebook, anything you want to. I do appreciate it. A couple of you have told me you're going to do that. So thank you. I want to continue to grow my channel. I want to keep uh, doing content and bringing you really good stuff. And I am so glad you tuned in and I will see you next time. Oh, I almost forgot. I got another court case. <laughs> yeah. 250. Anywho, I will see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. And if you're still here, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I call you weirdos, but you know I'm joking. I do appreciate you guys uh, watching me. Golly, it's so weird. Anybody wants to sit and listen to me yammer. Anywho, I will see you guys next time. And until then, let's say it together. Happy picking. Bye.